Hello and welcome to this Map Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about the remote tab. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be talking about uploading your local site uh, on your local Mac up to your host provider. In order to do this, first you need a host. So I'm going to add a host. Press the plus button here at the bottom to add a host. We're going to call this test upload. Upload. And we're going to install a WordPress host. Uh, I'm going to give you document root of test upload and I am going to create this uh, WordPress host. Continue, make an admin username and create the host. We do have a screencast on creating WordPress host. If you're interested in that, that is also available on map.tv. Okay, restart my servers and I should have a basic WordPress host. I'm just gonna test that right now to see if my basic WordPress is working and it is uh, working. I made a few customizations to my WordPress site. I just changed the uh, background photo and some colors and now I'm going to upload it to my host provider. In order to do that, you need to go to the remote tab and the first thing you need to do is uh, to uh, use this tab is check the used remote user remote server uh, checkbox and then fill in your credentials. Okay, so I have filled out all my credentials on the remote tab and now I'm going to go over these uh, one by one. Okay, so first this is the public URL. Um, this is uh, where you were going to see your website um, on the internet. Um, you have to, uh, a few things about this field, make sure you uh, have this HTTP uh, colon slash slash prefix or HTTPS depending on uh, if your site is HTTPS or HTTP. Um, I haven't put anything on my website, so on my host provider, so when I go to this page, uh, there's nothing there. Okay, so these are the FTP credentials that you need to fill out. Um, you most likely got these from your host provider. Uh, there's a few options here. I'm not going to go into all of them, but normally you would uh, most likely have FTP. This is the standard port for FTP. Um, here are a few other options. Uh, generally, when making a website, you most likely had a FTP client and you filled out a few uh, fields, uh, username, password, and all that stuff, and server to upload your host files. That's exactly what this is. So the protocol is FTP with the port. Here's the server uh, name. You got this from your host provider. You also had a username and a password to log into your home directory. And when you got into that home directory, you might have been in your document root or you may not have been. In my case, I am in my document root and I don't have to set anything here for the path. Your path might be slash uh, website or a common would be, oh, sorry, no slash, you don't need to put a slash, but it might be something like public HTML. Uh, you're gonna have to look that up and find out uh, if uh, what that path is. Um, we do have a detect, detect button here, which is gonna help you find that. In my case, it's um, already in the document route, so it's gonna detect it and find that it's correct and um, leave it as it was. But it may find your path. So if you don't want know what it is, try using this detect button or ask or, or log in to your FTP and see where your document route is and type in that path or try using the detect button to help you find this path. Okay, so the second half of the remote tab deals with the MySQL server. Um, from your host provider, you also received a MySQL server uh, username uh, and password and a MySQL server address. Um, the last field here is the database name. Um, you have to have this database already present on your remote uh, MySQL server 
to be able to upload your host. Okay, so all the my information is filled out and one last step before publishing, I would wanna check my credentials here and see if everything's good before I try publishing. And I do have one error here. It says my remote server is different, uh, a different version of MySQL. I know I have 5.6 on this uh, MySQL 5.6 on the remote host. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue and uh, and it will work, but this you have to be aware of that if you had MySQL 5.5 or an earlier version, it, it uh, most likely won't, uh, your website won't work. So I'm gonna continue here and check my credentials and all my credentials are verified and that's good. So what I can do now is just publish my host and uh, a few warnings here, make sure you have a backup and a few other warnings here and I'm going to publish. Uh, remember to change your WordPress credentials. This is a warning saying yes, if you have like a really easy breakable password, you might want to change it to something better than admin. And I'm going to upload my host. And if everything goes well, I should be able to see my host now when I click on this arrow button. I will have a live um, site on the internet. And this will take a little bit. And we're going to wait and see what happens here. Okay. Oh, and, it's, and the site automatically opens. And um, my site is here live on user.mamp.info. Just have to press this arrow button to open up the live site. And that's going to do it for publishing a website using the remote tab.